Hi, Cal BHP UK and we're just continuing with the development of our Triumph Euro 5 uh, bike range. On the dyno today we have this Triumph Tiger, it is the 660 inline triple. It shares exactly the same engine as the Trident and I'm led to believe that the base engine is actually the same on the new Daytona uh, with some revisions, whatever those revisions are will come to light soon I'm pretty sure. But uh, what we're going to do with this bike is we're going to run it up on the dyno as we always do. Uh, take some base readings off what the fueling's doing, how the engine's running. We're going to log some extra parameters on this bike as well. Uh, and we'll come up with a tuning strategy to make it fuel properly and run right. So the Euro 5 Triumph Tiger 660. Uh, we have done quite a lot of Euro 5 Triumphs now. Uh, the 660 runs pretty much the same algorithms and the uh, mapping strategies that the other Triumphs use. So we managed to make a really good game with this bike. At 100% throttle, wide open throttle, we went up from 77 to 80 brake horsepower. We did actually add quite uh, a lump on the RPM limit. So we just got, we've added just about a thousand RPM Bear in mind this is engine is the same engine that's in the Daytona and it revs a lot higher in that bike. So we're very confident that it's not going to compromise the, the longevity of the bike. It is a much nicer rollover now and we did actually have to add quite a lot of fuel below 4000 RPM to this bike even at wide open throttle. As always the biggest gains are made at partial throttle here and at 20 degrees of throttle opening which is just below 25% you can see that the blue is the standard line it really is quite an erratic power delivery and the red is the power delivery after the remap uh, and if you look at the graph below you can see how much fuel we've actually added it's gone down from about 15 to 1 it was running out to have anything after 3750 rpm it's now running at 13.2 to 1 air fuel ratio that's going to give you a really clean throttle response as well as clean and smooth running at 40 degrees on the twist grip just below 50 percent throttle again we've had to add quite a lot of fuel and you can see from the graph there's a quite a distinct improvement in the power delivery uh, it has been totally smoothed out the bike should ride absolutely fabulous on the road now. It is smooth and linear and absolutely perfectly responsive. We have totally got rid of the latency on the throttle on this bike now. Really hope you're enjoying what we're bringing to the channel. Please do hit the like, subscribe and bell icons. It'll keep you notified of any new Triumph content that we bring into the channel. This bike is available on our ECU flasher. So should you not be local to us, it is still a bike that we can do for you with this device. All you do is you take a read off your bike, send that file to us, uh, let our map writers know what you're looking for, what modifications you've got on the bike. They'll write you a bespoke file for your modifications. <laughs>